Now, I've been training for a marathon since the beginning of this year, and it's not just any marathon. I'll be running in South Africa through a game reserve where wild animals live. So today, I wanna to take some time and tell you a little bit more about what I'm doing. I mentioned before that I'm running a marathon in South Africa, but it's much more than just running a marathon. Now, the first time I heard about the Big Five Marathon was about two years ago. I had just signed up for the uh, Walt Disney World Marathon, and I was looking around on the internet to see what other fun marathons there were that I might be able to run. And I came across a website from a company named uh, Albatross Adventure Marathons. They're a Denmark-based company that specializes in just a couple of uh, very extreme marathons all around the world. And the Big Five Marathon is one of them. Now, I've been to Africa before. I've been to Kenya, Tanzania, and I love going on safari. I love driving around, trying to spot all the different animals. And as you might know, I love running into animals on my runs. So when I found out about this race, it just seemed like a match made in heaven. I get to run and go on safari at the same time. I still have my first marathon coming up and traveling to South Africa is not really a cheap endeavor. So it took a little bit of time, but last year when registration opened, I knew I had to be on top of it because there were only 300 spots for this race. And I knew it was gonna sell out very quickly. So as soon as registration opened, I was on my computer getting ready to sign up and it sold out in absolutely no time at all. But I got my spot. The marathon is inside a game reserve called Entebbeni, which means Place of the Mountain. It's an 85 square mile private game reserve. Now the name the Big Five Marathon comes from the Big Five, the animals that are most sought after on safari, which are the elephant, lion, leopard, rhino, and water buffalo. And yes, the Big Five lives inside the Entebbeni Game Reserve. So from this information alone, we can take away that one, there's a mountain, and two, there are lions and leopards around. So it's gonna be a tough course, and we might end up being lunch. Now, there's a lot of security around, and there's helicopters flying around to make sure that the lions don't get close to the course, so it should be okay. Plus, I read that um, there are 250 people that get eaten by lions per year, so with 300 runners, all I really need to do is make sure that I'm with the 50 fastest runners and I should be okay. I have the course map and really all I can take away from this is where the water stops are. So I don't really have any clue where I'll be running. I know the start and finish of the race is close to the camp that we're staying at, but other than that, I, I can't make out anything on the map. There's an elevation and surface map and that's a lot scarier. <laughs> there will be quite a bit of climbing and most of it will be dirt roads and sand. The thing I find kind of funny is that uh, we'll be staying inside the Entebbeni Game Reserve for about six days. Uh, the first day we get there, we'll go on a game drive, which is what they call driving around, trying to spot animals so you can take beautiful pictures of lions and cheetahs and leopards. Now on day three, we're gonna run in the same area we were first trying to spot lions and leopards. So yeah, <laughs> that is a bit strange. But um, on day two, we're gonna get to inspect the course. We're gonna drive around with all the runners and see where we're gonna be running. So you know the area and know the surface that you're gonna be running on. Um, after the race, we'll have a celebration dinner and we'll do some more game drives. So it, it's a really great package that uh, Albatross Adventure Marathons put together. It's like a, a whole little vacation around the marathon. So uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Now when we leave Entebbeni after the six days, we'll be heading out to the Kruger Park. Uh, we have seven days there. Uh, going on safari we have a, a private safari with a guide driver so i'm sure that's going to be awesome now once we're done there we're going to go to cape town we spend a couple of days there we have some excursions booked a lot of them involving animals so uh we're going to go to uh, boulder beach to see the penguins we're going to go out on the water to try and find the ocean big five and we have one more day of safari just outside of Cape Town. We've been planning this trip for so long and I can't believe that we're almost going. I can't wait to be there and I can't wait to show you uh, all the adventures that we'll have in Africa. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the videos that are coming up so you can see all the adventures in Africa. Now until next time, get out there and run.